Today I'm going to be um, doing, uh, this is a really, really fake one, but the differences between them, because I've seen a lot of people that they look like this one, but they're actually fake. Now listen, I have no nothing wrong with fake LPS. The only thing is, is their head can be very stiff and not the same color as its body. So, um, we're going to be going through the differences because sometimes it can be very hard to tell. So, first we have the fake LPS. See, it has more of a, um, sorry, my camera won't focus. It has more of, like, a circle rather than a hexagon. This one has a complete hexagon. Um, the eyes are obviously one of the big giveaways, um, as you can tell. Uh, sometimes the fake LPS will have smaller eyes. Uh, and if they do have the big eyes, because I know some of the fakes do, then if you hold it up to the light, see how this one is very glossy? And then this one, it's not very glossy. Yes, it does shine. But you can see the gloss in those eyes. You can't really see much gloss in these eyes. The texture of the head, they don't feel as bobbly. They're more stiff or their heads can be thinner. This one, I don't think its head is thinner, or maybe it is. The labeling. And that's one of the main differences that you can see in them. Uh, also, some of the colors can be off, of course. But sometimes it can just be over time, it can like wear out the colors. Um, some LPS just, they match the colors and everything. Some of them are just fake and that's okay. Um, we have another fake LPS, except they don't have the authentic version. <laughs> I think she's not a bad fake LPS. Um, I think her head bobbles fine. She's, she has a clear peg. Listen, just because, just because they are fake, I mean, just because they have a clear peg does not mean that it is authentic. Do not say that. Seriously, it's not. They are now making clear pegs in fake LPS. So, and this one has a hexagon too, so they're getting really good at this. But the thing is, is I'm pretty sure the authentic version had a magnet. Which, just because it has a magnet also doesn't mean it's an authentic LPS. People think that a lot. Um, I'm trying not to make this video too long. But you can see some of the blush is not there. Um, other than that, this is a pretty good fake LPS to me. She's actually one of my favorites and I still use her. Even though she may not be an authentic, and that's what I'm saying. Some fake LPS are actually really good, and that doesn't mean get rid of all of your fake LPS just because they're fake. Because if they're still functional, not this one, this one's ugly, I hate this one. Uh, but if they're still functional, then you can still use them. There's no problem in using them. I just prefer the authentic versions. This one, I like her the way she is. Lastly, we have this one. So this one, um, I would say is a pretty okay one. Um, I thought it was authentic at first. It's fake. Like it looks authentic in pictures. Yes, but it is fake, very fake. So, um, this thing is slidey. I don't know what that is from. But um, this one is fake. I don't have many reasons why I'm looking at the gloss. Uh, one of the main things is the texture, which is kind of struggling when you're buying an LPS because you can't really know. 
the texture of it exactly unless you feel it so she looks like an authentic lps but she is fake and i don't have many reasons for it her head doesn't bobble or move barely at all without you having to grab your fingers and like twist it um very stiff lps and she has one of those clear peg things as well but it is not authentic this one is the hard one that i feel like a lot of people are going to be commenting that this is authentic but trust me once you feel it you can feel the difference in the plastic from authentic you can feel it's kind of more silky and more smooth and then this is more like rough and it feels cheap um i'm not gonna really be ruining this lps just to prove a point but yeah, like this, I don't really mind it being a fake LPS because it looks authentic. This thing, it does not look authentic. It absolutely looks hideous, and this is why. These two in the back, I'm fine with them. I think they look like pretty good fakes. But this one doesn't even look close to the original. <sighs> now, I hope that kind of explained at least some of it. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't really get through most of it. Um, here's another fake LPS of mine. I have a lot of fake LPS, but this one is pretty good as well, in my opinion. Um, Jesus Christ, I have a lot of fake LPS. <laughs> anyway, I don't think any of them are bad. Um, except for the one that I keep on mentioning. I don't really have any other examples, but I like to say that it's okay if you buy fake LPS. It's okay if you have fake LPS. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make the LPS bad. Um, and One of the annoying things that I do dislike about the fake LPS is that their heads are not usually as stable. Other than that, they're not the worst. And if you do like an LPS that looks like this or this or any of these, you can have it. And there's nothing wrong with not having an authentic LPS. Sometimes they're just too overpriced. Like this thing being like over $50 is not worth it. It's a plastic toy. And yes, they're beautiful. But I think what would be more worth it is just buying a fake one. And <laughs> that's just my opinion. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'm probably not going to be posting many lps videos that much because this is supposed to be a gotcha club channel but um if this video blows up i'm definitely switching back to lps <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys later love you all Mwah.